Hey folks, Sam here with Badass Sling Bows. Take a moment of your time to talk to you about the sling bow that we call the Beast. This is uh, basically a sling bow built on the Hunter platform, but it has twice the bands. On the Hunter, we have four bands, two on each side, and it gives us a draw weight somewhere around 30 to 40 pounds, up to about 70 pounds, depending on your draw length. The Beast has four bands on each side, and it gets us somewhere Depending on your draw length, uh, 70, 75 pounds up to up over 100. Um, how it happened was when I had the Hunter, it was our first sling bow, that's where we started with. People wanted more power. I don't know why because the Hunter will really perform just as well or if not better than a recurve of the same draw weight. Uh, draw weight. It gives you the same foot pounds energy, uh, feet per second and stuff like that, but people wanted the Hunter to be more powerful, so we came up with the Beast. Um, as far as efficiency, the, the four bands on each side is less efficient than two bands on each side. What that means is, if the Hunter was a compact car, it'd be getting 30 miles to the gallon, and the Beast is getting 18 miles to the gallon. It has a bigger gas tank, because we have more bands, but it just doesn't go as far. So the Beast set at 70 pounds will not perform as well as the Hunter does at 70 pounds, but being that the beast can go up be above 70 pounds, that's where you're gaining there. So anyways, on with the presentation. People call up all the time after they buy this and they say, you know what, it's way too much poundage for me. Um, I want to exchange it. Uh, I would like to do the Hunter. And uh, you know what, guys, you don't have to do that. It's actually very easy to convert the beast down to what a hunter does. All we have to do is remove two bands on each side. First off, all we gotta do is take the bands and uh, release them from one side of our sling bow. Just like this. Come apart, it's really easy. Anybody can do this. It's designed to change draw weights and change bands in the field with no tools required, just like our hunter. So then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna remove two of the bands. which that does is leaves us two bands still on the sling bow. And then all we wanna do is take that, move the string down to the middle, even up the edges of your rubber, just like this. Take that little rubber uh, stopper or stop that we have, wrap it around there, and now we're just going to put this on the outside one. You can put it on the inside one, uh, the inside holder, but the outside is just easier to deal with, easier to work with. Um, so that's what I do. Once you get that in there, just like that, and you're not using this inside one right here. So we're going to do the same to the other side. Just like that. Remove two of the bands. Just like that. Even up our edges. Put our rubber stop in there. Wrap it around. Oh, let me get that even there. There we go. Wrap it around. Go to the outside one. Pull it, pull it, slide it into the groove. Easy peasy, Japanesey. What we end up with is a set of four bands right here that you can take and uh, store them in a cool, dark place. They'll be just great. Ended up two rubber stoppers, but now we don't use the middle one on each one. And there we have it. Now we have basically the Hunter set up. So there you have it. If you're looking for something with a lot of extra power and you're only gonna use that much power sometimes, um, go ahead and buy the Beast. You can go right back down. You can shoot it as the Hunter or you can shoot it as a Beast. It's pretty versatile. And again, folks, we make stuff badass. We make it to work, we make it to last, and we want you guys to be happy. So that's pretty much all we have to talk about with the Beast.